All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another Switch Podcast. And this is episode 12, and as usual, it's me. Yep, it's 12. Yeah, 12 already. So it's me, Kent. Elvin. And welcoming back, Liana. Recovered. Nice to see you back here. As usual, ladies and gentlemen, for Switch Podcast, please support us on social media, like us, give us any comment, because this week we've got lots of things to share with you. It's our tech new roundup of the week itself, yeah. and we'll kick it off uh, with talking about a few things. In this case, for this week, we're going to talk about one of the Apple products we sell, uh, which is the Mac Mini. Uh, again, as a quick reminder of what the Mac Mini is for those who are not familiar, the Mac Mini is a very, very small computer. Yeah. Eliana is showing the size, size, the size of my face. Yeah. <laughs> very squarish. Okay. And essentially, it's a computer. And if you buy that unit, it's a very low price. And it allows you to connect and use any keyboard, any mouse, any monitor. It's a computer. And it uses the same you thing. You need a display. Yeah, need a display. The Everything monitor. you use on our Mac laptops, you have the same software on the Mac Mini. And today's focus is on using a Mac Mini as a file server or media server. So what's your thoughts about it, Alvin? Uh, actually, a lot of people, they start to buy a Mac Mini. The purpose is for the media server. Media server. For those who know, what, but what's the difference between the normal Mac Mini and the server? Uh, actually, it's the same. Okay, they just bought a Mac because Mac Mini is small and then quite cheap in the market now. One thousand six. Yep, around the, the price. Six. Okay. So uh, they use it as a media server uh, because they just install uh, apps inside. Okay, the Blast, the app called Blast, P P L E S. Mm-hmm. Okay, with the server and the home theater, so you can manage your own media on your Mac Mini and then connect to your TV. So it's just like a media box already. So you just use a remote control to control the movie you collect, the movie collections, the TV collections, or the song collections that owned by you. Mm, correct, correct. Yeah. So a lot of people, they start doing that way because the benefit is I no need to store my file everywhere. I just keep my Mac Mini. So basically, in this is what Alvin was trying to say. It's a home theater personal computer, HTPC. Yeah. Which the Mac Mini suits it. It's small, it's beautiful, it can sit very unobstructively in your set-top box on top of your television near there. Yeah. And all the media is there. Movies, photos, music, a click away. So like what Alvin said, instead of digging through your CD collection, how many have a CD? Do you have a yeah. DVD collection? Yeah, more like external hard disk. External hard disk. Anyone has a VHS collection? Okay, I'm yeah. guilty, I still have one. <laughs> uh, but the point is, instead of having them all over the place, what Alvin suggested, a Mac Mini storing all the media inside one central location, mm. install a simple free application, that's it. You get to use it all you want. There's a website yeah. online called macminiserver.com. You can have all the information that they have listed all the frequently asked questions. Very easy. Just click on like, can I install SSC drive into a Mac Mini? How do I back up Mac Mini server? <laughs> Very simple. And all the it, things. Yeah, yeah. All five In fact, ladies and gentlemen, there's so many solutions out there. Uh, people are using Mac Mini for lots of stuff. Installing into a car. Yeah, seriously. Putting in the car as a media server. We have one of our ex-crew doing that. Crazy. Wow. No, seriously. I was like, wow, Mac Mini in the car. Now, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what Elvin suggests is actually a little more practical. Put it as a living room, full stop, and it's good enough. Media yeah. server. And uh, which leads to the next part, file server. Now, what it means by file server is that I believe all of us here, we have lots of files, right? Yeah. You, can, you have so many things you put on so many hard drive, external hard drive. Now, if you already have a Mac Mini, like what Elvin suggests, as your media server, which is streaming of media to your television, etc. You can also use it as a file server. That means your children want to back up their files, document your work document. You have a centralized place to keep yeah. it, store it, access it. Now, I mean, this is a suggestion, ladies and gentlemen. Don't just take our word for it. Explore it. Maybe leave some comments in our Facebook area. No, just go to any yeah. outlet. Try Correct. it out. Try yeah. it out. So uh, that leads to the tech news of the week, ladies and gentlemen. And. Uh, this week is actually a PC week. Remember, April first just ended a few yeah. days ago. Yep. April Fool. April Fool. Uh, no, no. So we are not playing April Fool for this particular podcast. <laughs> Maybe next time if April first happens. So there was a lot of things. So Elvin, share us. What was what one few things? So uh, on April Fool, uh, Google have launched uh, games on their Google Map. <laughs> okay, it's called the Batman. Uh, the Pac Man. Mm-hmm. So, so you can see my computer screen now. Yep, yep. So I open the Google Map. Yep. So you see the corner here got yep. a Pac-Man. Okay, I just click on that. 
So you start to zoom in, but if let's say your map is not suitable mm -hmm. for playing this game, so it will suggest you a place. Okay. So you just click on I feel lucky. Randomly you choose yeah. your, randomly choose the location for a Pac-Man to play. Okay. Ooh, where so is this? You can see. So, <laughs> so I can start to play. When the, when the news first came out, a lot of people saying that it's just another uh, MMO yeah. gimmick. Yeah. 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 But end up is actually yeah. functional. You're yeah. playing Pac-Man on an actual city location, the streets. Chasing ghosts okay. everywhere. That's cool. It's but it's a bit cool. challenging is because it's not just a oh, square. Oh, you got eaten by Yeah, ghosts. so when you want to control your Pac-Man, it's a bit challenge. Yeah. Because yeah. now it's no longer a perpendicular to each yeah. other. It's now like curving here and there. Yeah. So a, a bit challenging, so sometimes you're hard to Ah yeah, I want to go there and uh, miss this already Oh no, you're going to be trapped Oh no Ah! Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, oh. check that out Pac-Man yeah. on Google Maps uh, We'll actually put the link if you haven't noticed yes. it So please click it, yeah. enjoy it And I believe there's something uh, also this week was what? I heard uh, one of the Hollywood A-listers uh, Jay-Z is launching a music streaming service Tidal. It's called Tidal Yeah uh, So uh, I believe Alvin has more on that so uh, actually, the title is bought by Jay Z. Mm -hmm. Okay, few months ago. Mm -hmm. So they he start to do their own uh, music streaming service. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they just launched at last few days. Mm -hmm. So the special is they provide a HD quality audio. High uh, definition quality audio. So it's okay. a free it's no, a no. service. It's paid, paid service. Uh, and that is a bit expensive. Hmm? How much is that? Compared to Spotify and ah, uh, other competitors. Okay, okay. But they, because a lot of artists got signed the contract with the Jay-Z. Mm. Okay, so you can see they got Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, Madonna. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they signed the contract with them. Okay, so uh, the price range I think is okay, up to 1990 per month. Per month. 20 yeah. USD in other words per yeah, month. Yeah, it's not wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and you get it. to stream the yeah. entire collection of music. So, it got two package. One is the premium. One is the hi-fi. So hi-fi is the hi-fi quality audio. Okay. So it's uh nineteen ninety nine point one mm. per month. So it depends. If you feel that it's worth, okay, you, maybe you can try and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Or but a lot of people they think that they're waiting for another, okay, uh, maybe other service to provide the more better service like the Spotify or Spotify. other yeah, Spotify. Uh, who knows yeah. ladies and gentlemen you, you guys might have actually noticed that Apple has remained relatively silent on their streaming music yeah. uh, so we are highlighting a few services here Spotify yeah. Tidal just launched by Jay-Z who knows Apple's next streaming music but these are things that you can, you, you can explore ladies and gentlemen and if you love music like what Liana and Elvin loves music check it all out we will add the link as well inside this particular podcast check out Jay-Z's Tidal music streaming available in US and UK and several other countries yeah. for now. Yeah, yeah, because due to the copyright, copyright yes. issues. Yeah, but later on, I think with something like Spotify, we'll go to worldwide already. Correct, correct. Yeah, so things to explore, and uh, that brings on to the next topic, which is uh, Google Drive has finally offered the automatic backup service for iOS yes. devices, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, if you don't know about this, check out Google's Drive. Yeah. Go to search on about it. But More just, details just on it. Just update the app. Yeah, and then just update the, Got the option inside already. Uh, it's seriously, it's very useful. I mean, if you already use Dropbox on your yeah. iOS device, why not? Google yeah. Drive is cool. So, okay. uh, which leads to I think it's something about Apple Maps has just yep. been updated. So last few days, Apple Maps got extend the support to three more countries, mm -hmm. uh, include Italy, Mexico, and Switzerland. Okay. So what is Apple Con uh, Map Connect? Okay, actually, it's a service that give to the local business, the small business, to update, to update their own information on the Apple map. Okay. Essentially, it's like we treat it, I think it's easier to explain. I think, ladies and gentlemen, put it this way, it's like if you have a business, you can actually put your details yourself on basically yeah. the Apple Maps platform. And people that explore, so, scroll through it, will we'll see also. your business highlighted over yeah. there. So, currently in Asia, the country only support is Singapore. Yep, Singapore. Yeah. So uh, I hope I hope that uh, maybe we'll be launched in Malaysia soon. Mm -hmm. So you can use the map battery in on the Apple device. So we hope soon but we don't know when but now Apple is starting to extend the supporting country. 
Yeah. Yeah. So even though right now it's just Italy, Mexico, and Switzerland, ladies and gentlemen, who knows? When Mass of Malaysia comes up, we can now search for the nearest uh, McDonald's outlet somewhere. I or... doubt we would need that. Okay, fine. I think we know. Ladies and gentlemen, you can find where's the next switch outlet anywhere across <laughs> Malaysia once Apple Map Connect arrives in Malaysia itself. Okay. Uh, that moves on to talk about platforms, and I believe uh, there was news all across uh, media, which is uh, Facebook Messenger offers support for third-party apps. Yep. So for example. It's... Oh, example, I show you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just open a chat, like normal. Mm -hmm. So uh, at the end, okay, here got a small icon. Okay, let's say for this one. Yep. So you can see. So it's an install the third party apps. Oh, I got it. So you can use a sound clip, uh, ultra OG. test, the emoji. So to enhance your chat experience. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, Facebook Messenger has been extended. The feature is amazing. And if you guys don't notice it, Facebook Messenger is the world's, one of the world's largest chat services. Yeah. And with all this feature, it's very fun to actually chat with your friend. Add GIFs, add sound clips, you know, links. Explore it, ladies and gentlemen. Try it out on your iOS device. Install Facebook Messenger if you haven't tried so. And check out all the latest plugins. Yeah. I think so, Jim would be awesome. Yeah, Jim yeah, would be really awesome. Like, I use the text, the uh, animation. Do have meme and stuff? <laughs> yeah. Really, yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so that moves on. I think uh, recently there was a school in, uh, what, what's the name of the school? Drexel? Drexel, yeah, yeah. in uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, Philadelphia. They offer an iPad as a vending machine, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, I, it's like, uh, put it this way. You want to get the iPad? You, yep. you basically take your library card, you slot it in, and imagine That's it instead biggest. of uh, <laughs> drinks coming out, boom, they come an iPad. Obviously, yeah. I'm exaggerating a bit, but please check out the links. So you can see the yeah. uh, image here. Okay, actually, uh, they ran the iPad for four hours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So after four hours... So how do you, you, how do you, you shut down, is it? Yeah, because the iPad is a special programming. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you put back to the kiosk, it will auto delete all the contents I and see. as a, another new device for another person to use. Yep, yep. So there will be some app included, okay, the custom app. So they can use it uh, for, let's, let's say for geography, science, that kind of... And this is for university school or...? Yeah, this is for the Drexel University. Mm -hmm. But if you have the library card, you also can use it. The, the community also can use it. And the best part, ladies and gentlemen, is that think about this. Previously, you go to a library, you take a library card, you just take a book. Yes. It's one subject, one yes. topic, that's it. Now, Endless. you're checking out an iPad. The iPad is what? Everything. The internet is at your hand, anything may be specified to a library. The possibility is endless. I mean, I can't wait if actually the local Malaysian or even any of the states here, the local library actually offer an iPad that can be loaned to children and students. Interactive games, perhaps, yeah. that educates. Who knows? Wait, but I'm guessing they're using a very super yeah. high quality casing, right? Yeah, the yeah. casing is different. <laughs> yeah. I thought so. Yeah, they use some special kind of cases to lock down the iPad. Uh, yeah. Protecting, protecting, protecting. Yeah, because I was thinking, what happened if you drop, you oh, crack yeah. it, whatever, you try to pry it open? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking Don't give the to <laughs> people ideas. <laughs> So again, ladies and gentlemen, the links will be inside. Check it out. Very interesting. This shows that the world technology is moving on. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. And speaking about that, Microsoft uh, has just launched a new scanner app for iOS. Yeah. So it's a bit interesting. Uh, just for iPhone. Mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. clarify. Okay. So it's called Office Lens. It's like, yeah. the, it's like the idea of this application is that if you want to scan an object, without a scanner, you take the camera of your iOS device with that application from Microsoft, it will actually detect the ages of your mm. document, your name card, whatever it is, and it allows you to convert it into a Word document, a PowerPoint slide, a PDF. It's free, ladies and gentlemen, Office Lens, part for iOS from yeah. Microsoft. <laughs> In fact, when I saw it, I was like, oh dear, I shouldn't have bought the Scanner Pro app. Oh, you reason. bought it? Yes, <laughs> because I, I don't have a scanner, I so see. essentially my phone is the scanner. And this one is really useful, and it's free. It's yeah. from Microsoft. So it also can scan, uh, take the snapshot of the whiteboard. Very useful. Yeah. So, But don't take our word for this, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually been promoted heavily throughout media. Uh, we are at the link as well inside yes. this part of the podcast. 
So please, ladies and gentlemen, check out all the various links and don't forget to support us in our social media. And Give us some comments. Let yeah. us improve. Let us know what topic you want us to uh, look week. forward for next week's podcast. And I think uh, if there's nothing else, thank, thank you. you so much for listening. I'm Kent. Elvin. Yeah. And, yeah. and goodbye. Bye. Bye.